Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ah. They'll call up. Tyrell Patrick is one of the few helpful survivors that Jill Valentine will encounter during the events of the game Resident Evil 3. A mercenary under the employ of the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service, Tyrell would ultimately find himself tied up in the Raccoon City viral outbreak in September of 1998, one of many soldiers that Umbrella would send into the chaos. But, as their ranks would quickly be decimated by the zombies and monsters that now ruled the city, he would wind up being folded into one of the last groups of UBCS soldiers remaining in Raccoon. Nikolai, how are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. The story of Tyrell Patrick as we know it begins with his birth in a place known as the Republic of Suriname in South America. Unfortunately, beyond the location in which he was born, little is known about Tyrell's upbringing or his early childhood, with the first few details of his life coming to us when he would move to Holland and join the French Foreign Legion in pursuit of what would be the biggest vice in his life, money. Tyrell would excel in his work with the Legion, but his constant obsession for more money would eventually lead him into other ventures to satiate his greed. These ventures would see Tyrell getting involved in black market weapons trading using his position with the Legion to acquire the weapons before selling them off to shady interested parties. Unfortunately for Tyrell, however, when one of these parties would use their ill-gotten weapons in a series of genocidal killings, the firearms would be traced back to Patrick, who would subsequently be court-martialed and given a life sentence. It would be during this incarceration that Tyrell would be made aware of a mercenary recruiter that had the capability to free him from his captivity. And so, with few other options, he would get into contact with this recruiting organization to work for them in exchange for his freedom. This organization was of course Umbrella and they would negotiate with the French to release Patrick into their Biohazard Countermeasure Service program, giving him the position of Observer and making him a member of Unit A in the UBCS Bravo team. You heard what he said. And we can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Now I'm gonna check the computer to see if I can trace the doc's location. Tyrell's time with Umbrella is almost a complete mystery, aside from his position and rank. His first known mission being the infamous viral outbreak in Raccoon that would occur in September of 1998. Following an incident near Umbrella's secretive underground nest facility, the T-Virus would be leaked into the city's water supply causing a zombie outbreak that was quickly consuming the entirety of Raccoon. The UBCS would be sent in to secure several important people of interest, as well as destroy any evidence linking them to the situation, with Tyrell having the extra task of recording battle data of the various BOWs against his own UBCS brothers-in-arms. Unfortunately for Umbrella's soldiers, however, this mission would not be as simple as many of them had expected. The outbreak had escalated to unimaginable levels in a very short amount of time, resulting in entire platoons being decimated shortly after their arrival, Tyrell's platoon being no exception and after their demise, he would wind up in the company of the few remaining UBCS members that were still breathing, under the command of Delta Platoon's Captain Mikhail Victor, who had set up a base of operations in the city's subway tunnels. 
Under Victor's orders, the surviving UBCS members would round up the few Raccoon City civilians they could find in the hopes of evacuating them from the city using the subway's rail car. However, before Tyrell could book his own ticket to freedom via the rail car, orders would come down from the higher upset umbrella for he and a fellow mercenary named Carlos to find a man named Dr. Nathaniel Bard at the Raccoon City Police Station. With this mission, the two men would leave their company trekking back into the horrors of the city to find a man who had supposedly discovered a vaccine capable of fighting off the T-Virus. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last man out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. Unfortunately for Tyrell and Carlos, once they arrived at the RPD, they would find no trace of Dr. Bard, and with a call from Jill Valentine, they would be informed of the failure of their subway escape plans as well. This news would force the duo to split up, Tyrell searching for a lead on Dr. Bard, while Carlos would go back out into the city to find Jill. Tyrell's investigation would eventually lead him to the Spencer Memorial Hospital, and after a frantic call from Carlos, the two would make plans to meet there to continue the search for Bard. Their need for the vaccine now escalated as Jill had managed to become infected. Unfortunately, Tyrell would get caught up on his way to the hospital, and once he did arrive, he would learn of a missile strike that was set to destroy the city on the following day. This news would force the remaining UBCS members into a difficult position. Luckily, while finding the vaccine to give to Jill, Carlos had discovered that additional vaccines were being developed underneath the hospital and so the pair would pin their hopes on Carlos finding those vaccines while Tyrell stayed behind to barter giving them to the US in exchange for a delay in their missile strike plans. Tyrell is one of the most interesting men that Jill will encounter during her adventures. From his early life in the French Foreign Legion, to his obsessions with money, to his ability to seemingly put all that aside during the Raccoon City incident. He's a very complex man whose tale goes far beyond what we get to see of him. And though his past may have been fraught with self-centered thoughts and desires, in the end, Tyrell Patrick would prove himself capable of being much more than the sum of his faults. <sighs> 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 